Hi, I'm Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. Uh, welcome to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Are you? Okay, this is what we do if we're picking up from a nursing home or a hospital or even a residence. Um, when we pick the deceased up, we'll make sure we wrap. This is Calvin. We've transferred him onto the stretcher already. And then we have plastic, which is some um, hospitals will have um, body bags. We use plastic, and this is just um, it's the same principle as a body bag, and it's to stop fluid, fluid or any leakage or anything. And because we want to transfer, we need to put the um, seat belt on. Now these are put on tight but not too tight. Zip up the bag. You've probably seen these kind of bags, these stretches on your CSI programs. It's exactly the same thing. So we always make sure that our loved ones are safe protected and covered so nobody can see what's going on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to load them into the vehicle and it's a transfer vehicle and it's going to be transferred to our facilities where we'll put them into the cold storage in our mortuary where I'll look after them. We're going to load up Calvin in here. There's a lever here which will release the legs and that will collapse the legs. So I have to take the weight of this so when we get bigger bodies, it can be quite heavy, but there's usually two of us on transfers. So push and that'll collapse the legs there. Now, we have a locking mechanism to keep the arm trolley locked in place. And that's secure. Now we've got Calvin in there and um, his paperwork we have to have will be placed up on my little magnet in here and it always stays with the person. We always have to have a life extinct or a form 9 and we cannot travel without them forms. It's illegal to travel without a document with a deceased person. So Calvin's secure in there, I'm happy he's not going to move. We're going to go back and take him to the mortuary and put them into the cold storage ready for preparation. Okay, take care cup. So now we're going to transfer Calvin, my deceased, out of the vehicle and we're going to put him into the mortuary. So behind this door is the mortuary, a very sacred place to me and everybody that works here. Um, I'm going to show you, it's nothing scary. I'm going to open the door and we can see that this is inside my mortuary. Okay, it is a big room. That's the lifting machine up on the hoist there which I'll demonstrate to you. And this device here we've got is the scissor lifter. It's not my table I work on at the moment. That's just occupied in the fridge in the cold room through the door there. Um, and this scissor lifter is where we put the bodies into the racks to ra raise it up and down. I'm just gonna show you what we do from unloading Calvin from the stretcher when we've transferred onto the table here and then I'm going to show you how the lifting device works and put Calvin into a coffin so you just have an idea of how the process works. Okay, so I'm just going to unlock that device and again we've got this, if you can actually see in there that's the red lever which is what will um, release the legs and also lock the legs. So I'm going to unwrap uh, our deceased, which is Calvin, um, today and 
I'm going to take really good care of them and I need to get them off the stretcher and we need to pop them onto the tree. Okay, <laughs> we're here, safe and sound. Now normally there's two people that would do this where we're going to pull and transfer onto the our table because you should not do this on your own. So normally we'd have somebody up at the head end and somebody up at the leg end and because Calvin's obviously very light I'm okay. So we carefully place our hands underneath the back of the, the head, the bottom and the legs and we do a slight lift manoeuvre transfer. Now this is a head block and a head block is really important to keep the head wing at the head raised up. The fluid so it doesn't uh, pull if your head tips back it kind of pulls and discolors the face slightly so fluids will do that so it's best to keep your head raised slightly and high. And what we need to do with this we need to get rid of this and put it back into the van. But the most important thing you need to do with this is clean it after. We have to clean it and we do have a disinfectant cleaner. So we let that stay a couple of minutes, then I'll wipe it down with a, uh, a disposable cloth, wrap it up and place it back into the vehicle. Okay. Um, I've just took my face mask off so you can hear me. Obviously because carbon it's not a real deceased, I don't really have to wear this, but I'm just showing you the process of what I wear every day, all the time when I work with them on, with dead bodies. It's to protect me from everyday bacteria that the deceased have and unknown viruses or unknown um, diseases they may have. But today I'll just leave it on my chin, because you can't hear me. Anyway, we're going to carefully unwrap our deceased. And with the paperwork that we've checked, when we picked Calvin up, you'll remember from another episode about ID and the body and how we have to put wrist tags on if they don't have tags on from a hospital. So say we, we picked Calvin up from the nursing home and we push his wrist tag on. So now I'm happy that I've ID'd Calvin as the correct person with his correct paperwork for his correct coven that this is the person I need to prep today for the service that's going out tomorrow.